This is a Husqvarna 324L four stroke. I've had it for maybe three or four years. And about every year uh, I get a no start condition. And the first few times I tried rebuilding the carburetor, replacing the bubble, whatever, stop by a small engine shop, spend 20 bucks in parts and still not fix the problem. So I've been ordering these eBay carb kits that come with new fuel lines, new gasket, a couple extra bubbles, a couple of extra filter, and the carburetor. Gonna go ahead and replace it all. It's super simple. Normally you don't have to drop the fuel tank. If you do, uh, there's three bolts on the end that require a T25 Torx. Right there, right there. Super simple. Use a 516 or 8 millimeter. Take these two studs off. You're going to use a 516 or 8 millimeter wrench and a 10 millimeter wrench here to take the throttle loose. So I back this jam nut off and then unthreaded this part out of this bracket. The only thing that concerns me is the new one is not threaded right there. Then I took the two nuts off and you can see there's one spacer stayed in there. The other one's right here. So pop that off and slide it in the cover. And here's your vent line that just slides off of that tube right there. So now we will take the lines loose and take this grommet out of the fuel tank and that's usually the hardest part. Alright, so I had to thread the throttle cable back into the carburetor so I could get the cable throttle stop out of its little area right there. You see where it goes if it can focus. Also, I just remembered that I think I'm going to reuse this grommet because this one fits back in the original fuel tank way better than that. So I'll swap all lines over, new lines over to the old grommet. All right, there you have it. everything swapped over. Uh, remember, these are cheap Chinese parts, so make sure you have lots of patience. Now we're going to attempt to install this back onto the weed eater. All right, next we're gonna install the gasket. And you have to note, let's see, these two holes are for the studs. That's where the air and the gas go in, and this is a little vent or something that goes on, that always has to go on the bottom left.
the gasket uh, tore, but it's not on the side where it would matter. Uh, I'm not sure why this gasket was so much bigger than the old one. It was only this big. Anyhow, it's on. Uh, we're going to get the fuel lines down in the tank, and I think this is actually going to work out fine. I went ahead and slipped the throttle cable stop into the throttle shaft. All right, so I got the grommet in the gas tank. Probably cut that line a little too short, but it'll be fine. And I adjusted this. I think that's gonna work fine. Let me show you. The old eBay carburetor was threaded. This one will just have the jam nut up against this bracket right here. And you can see the throttle is a smidge open. When the, thr when the throttle control is closed, but when you open it all the way up, the throttle opens, the carburetor opens all the way up. And I primed it, and the primer bubble is full of gas, so now we're gonna button things up and see if it'll crank up. I would definitely call that a success. Thanks for watching. This is a quick update after I ran it a few times. The jam nut I had threaded here, but when I'd go on and off the throttle, it'd kick up and then the nut come loose. So what I'm gonna do is thread the nut on the back side of this bracket. And once I tighten that up, it should stay and the throttle opens all the way and closes all the way.